I mean, I think nice Kevin just Aaron. lost credibility right there by putting Tom Brady at six. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he said he would have Tom Brady at six. Okay, and we're going to go on touchdown. He, he has more pick sucks. sixes than He wins. lost to the Bears, which we are going to get into right now. Doesn't Tom have more pick sixes than wins this year? No. He yes. has two. He has two. And how many wins does he have? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Nice try, Manny. <laughs> okay, so getting into the Bears, obviously I'm sure the meme has gone viral by now of Aaron or uh, Tom Brady holding up the four. Uh, like he didn't know if it was fourth down or third down or whatever. Or fifth down. He thought he had fifth hey, down. Hey, did you see so, the one down. where NBC Chicago posted like, hey, Tom, how many wins yeah. did the Bears have? And he's, he's like, like well, uh. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're the topic on this will be um, whose fault – Who's more at fault on that loss, or really for the whole season up until this point? Kind of last night's loss was kind of a microcosm of how their season has went so far. Is it more on Bruce Arians' coaching, or is it more on Tom Brady himself? Can I'm going to say or it's start? more on Tom Brady. Go? Okay, I gotta say Tom Brady too. Okay, what about I'm you? Gonna say Bruce Arians' coach. Bruce, the, just okay. you're talking hey, about. I'm, this, I'm talking about this game. game. Yeah. I'm talking about this, okay, this we'll, game. Okay, we're gonna specify on this game. Now. Okay, go ahead. Make your case. All right, so so for Bruce Arians, it falls on the Bruce's hands more. Um, Bruce has to be ready for that quick, turn, quick turnaround on Thursday night. That would not happen with Bill Belichick. That game last night, 11 penalties, 109 um, penalty yards. Two games in a row. Does not happen with Bill Belichick, and especially on a quick turnaround on Thursday. Bill Belichick has his guys in line, but we're not talking about him. His team, and specifically the O-line, had 11 penalties for 109 yards. That is horrible. He just conceded 109 yards to the Bears. That's a whole f- fucking football field. That's a touchdown. Right. Right? Except the Bears don't score touchdowns. We had one game. touchdown last night. Yeah. Dave mean, Montgomery, the first was, rushing touchdown of the year for the Bears. It was funny. They lost and, like, gained 70 yards in, like, one yeah. drive because of, like, seven penalties. So those, pal- so those penalties on the offensive side lead to long third downs. They went four for fourteen on third downs, or they were, and they're looking like the Bears with the third down. Can you hop, stop huffing and puffing like you're a bear? <laughs> hey, he's fat. He has trouble breathing. <laughs> so, but those lead to <laughs> those lead to long third downs, and they were four for fourteen on third downs. Do you need those fourth downs to or or third down conversions to um obviously move the chains and continue on your drive drive stall because of that? So Bruce Arians said himself, giving penalties to an already a top five defense. Gives us no red zone opportunities. It makes it hard for them to convert on third downs. If you don't get to the red zone, more or less likely you're not scoring touchdowns. You're not scoring touchdowns, so you're only scoring field goals. It allows that position to score more points with touchdowns. Bears don't do that, so it was a lot closer to the game than a lot of people that anticipated. I will put the blame on Tom Brady because uh, his completion percentage was rather low for him. Yes, I'm going to get to that uh, right 61%. now. 61%. I think he dropped down kind of to Nick Foles' level. I mean, we always talk in Chicago, we obviously have a quarterback issue where they can't hit wide-open receivers. It seemed like Tom Brady had that exact same problem last night. Missed many wide-open targets. I know a couple mm-hmm. guys dropped passes as no, well. No, he actually so had the most, um, it was like off-target like throws last night. Like He had like 10. Who, and Nick? he was bad. No, Tom Nick? Brady. No, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. He was bad. He was bad last night. Um, uh, I have one more point, and that's going to come to my head in a second if you want to Yeah, let me finish. Um. Even say his um, Bruce Arians even said that he did not have his team ready to play. He said that he did not have his team ready to play. That could be covering for Tom Brady looking like a fucking idiot, but that's what he said. Sorry to say it, but Belichick would have had this would have had this team ready for this quick turnaround oh, and, would, and would have won by ten if it was Belichick and Brady. Even though even if this short checkdowns, they would have been in the Bears. The Bucks were rolling at the point, or the Bucks were rolling at some points. You saw drives that they were on. Gron- he would hit Gronkowski for ten yards, stalled by penalties. Penalties cost them the game. That ultimately falls on the coaching for not having their team disciplined. Okay, I get that. Uh, Manny, why do you think it was more on Tom? Uh, well, number one, I, what you said about the penalties. You can't really blame the penalties on, on the coach. Well, that is, co- no, that is coaching. That's discipline. You can't, I okay, yeah, but you can't really necessarily blame them. But you can't blame on the one. GM for drafting those players? And you no, definitely you, can't, you can't blame you have to bl- the, the players. Who's the one playing on the field? It ain't, it ain't the coach. It's the players. <laughs> but the coaches are making the plays. They're doing the check downs. Like they're yeah, no, like the one, who, that offensive lineman with the curly hair, that stupid uh, person. Head butt, yeah. It's, it's not, but you're not being disciplined. Your coach is telling, no, you cannot do that. I think that, 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 that I think on Manny's behalf, I would argue that falls more on Tom Brady because he's, he's like the coach on the field at the moment. He's got to go control his boys. Those offensive linemen are protecting him and him only. That was yeah. That was also. Well, did everyone see Tom Brady on the sidelines well, no, going completely to. off on his offense? He was like, the fucking bullshit. We can't get a drive started. He should have done that shit on that drive and say, knock it off. And this is it. We're not going to take any more of that BS mm-hmm. where we're yeah. just like yeah. losing yardage. But again, he did not look sharp. And 
Um, oh, my point was, you know, you said Bill Belichick would have had it in check. Yes, he would have. But this is more on Tom Brady mm-hmm. coming to Tampa Bay, wanting to prove he could do it on his own. He has not proved he could do it on his own. I will up back up with. All. I'll back that up with Tom Brady through five games this year is averaging two hundred and seventy five yards. This is counting yesterday's game. They averaged out with two, all these new weapons he has, mind you. He didn't have Chris Godwin yesterday. He had a fifty percent Mike Evans. He did not have. He did not have. He didn't have one four not either. But I will agree. I'll agree with you. That is better than New England. He had two seventy five yards average and two TDs average. Only five other quarterbacks in the league are doing that right now. Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson. Allen or Josh Allen, A. Raj, and Mahomes. He's got he's in high company with his hot start this year. And Tom Brady has done that four other times. So it's not like he's just doing this because he has these all these amazing weapons. He's done this four other times in his career, you know. Yeah. And also another thing, where were the halftime adjustments by Bruce Arians? Because the team only got worse in the second half. In every statistical system, they got worse or they had more of badness. That's you know what I'm quite saying? That's pathetic that you get out coached by Matt Nagy. That's what and I was saying. Kevin, add some more. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Bruce Arians. Um, he said it in his conference. Uh, he said that he didn't have his team prepared, so I obviously agree with him. Uh, he did lie on national television and told the public that Tom Brady knew how many times. Well, what happens if Tom Brady was trying to get an extra play? He loves, he gets with, he's in love with the reps so much. They have a great problem. Once yeah. he was doing it, trying to get he, another down. He was in love with them, too. Like, when he was getting hit and they got caught with those penalties, he was like, what the heck, ref? And then they called him on the box. Yeah. The penalty. Did you guys see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, um, I agree with Andrew. Um, he didn't have his team prepared. Penalties lands on the coach as well as the players. Um, but the coach is in practice. you got to tell your guys, oh, we got to be prepared for this game. we got to take you care have of it. You have a top week, 10 pass rush. Especially when you had 11 penalties the last week. You expect your team to be better. That's the first thing you should talk about on Tuesday when it's a, or on Monday when it's a turnaround week. You tell them, what the fuck, motherfuckers? Let's get it. The O-line coach should definitely have that. Bruce Arians should reiterate that to his offensive line coach. Like, what the fuck, motherfuckers? You guys just cost us this. Manny, more about Brady? Again, I would go back to who's the one actually playing. Tom Brady. And let me tell you something. So is Bruce Arians just in the locker room eating his fucking well, chicken no, fingers? I, I, no, <laughs> I'll back up Manny, too. I, like, the very yeah, secondary cheaper. is quite ass. I know you just showed me... Uh, you know, something with uh, Jalen Johnson, and I get he's a rookie, and he's trying to I, I will post all of them. Are Pro Bowlers? They're Pro Bowlers as of right now, and okay. completion percent. No one gives percent. a shit about the Pro Bowl. Let me just put that out there. It, no one gives a fuck about Washington, but the players that get elected, they do get representation I for mean, being elected. Eh. It, it's part of their Hall of Fame ballot. I mean, it's still at this and point. And also, it's an accolade of what they Kyle Fuller's having, okay. once again, another Let's, Pro Bowl okay, year all four years. All he's he's, he's Kyle Fuller's having another all pro year. Kyle Fuller is decent. He's the one. Jalen Johnson corner. is having, uh, is only allowing, a, I'll have this up. It could be, I think it's around 46 complete or 37 completion percentage. He that looks, is top three in the NFL, in the NFL. Okay. And I get you look at all these stats and everything like that, but you also have to balance it with an eye test. He, at points, he looked absolutely lost last night, letting cross routes go in zone coverage where he's sitting back. And then, oh, shit, I got to go tackle. And then he fails to make a tackle. I will give you that. He is not a good he's tackler. He's not a good tackler. But again, that's pass coverage. He needs to jump on this shit. I mean, it would be like third and 11, and, and you let them convert a third down because you're sitting back there in zone coverage like a free safety, which he shouldn't have been. He's got to diagnose that route. The guy is cutting through his zone. You got to go and break up that pass like that. Thirty. He is a he's much better. He's a, he, he's, he is. That's where. That's where he's excelled. That's where he was coming out of college. He's a great man coverage. And the Bears most of the time do do run man, or usually run a cover two man with Eddie Jackson to take these back. Okay, that makes sense. But at times he did get torched. Mm-hmm. I know there were two times yesterday where he just got absolutely lost. And okay, one that's time his, Brady I'll, missed mm-hmm. his target. Oh, like and Mike Evans. Team. Well, Mike Evans was like in Lala, like. Where's the ball? Yeah, Where's yeah. the ball? Yeah, but that was Jalen <laughs> That was Jalen Johnson. Johnson. Yep, exactly. And I get it. You know, those stats, I'm not going to say he's awful, but he's not as good as those stats will make okay. it seem if you evaluate it based on an eye No, zo- zone coverage is his deficit. Okay, I, I, I could just test that. But Manny, keep going with Tom Brady. we got about a minute, 30 seconds left. On this what game. else you got about Tom Brady? Tom Brady, everybody who says he's the greatest quarterback in the world, blah, 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 could even be, beat the Bears. How many yards did he have? Two thirty-four. Yeah, something like that. Two sixty-two. Two sixty-five. There you go. Was. Yeah, you can't. How how is that blaming on coaching? Two fifty-three. Coaching. I'm sorry. That's not coaching. That's just Tom Brady being Tom Brady. How many touchdowns did he have? Uh, like he had one. one, one you right? had one. And his rating was eighty-six point seven. Yeah, right there. That's all you need, right there. You can't blame it on coaching. Nick Foles out. You beat him, actually. Believe it or not. Yeah, that's Nick Foles is off as well. Again, I think it might have been like Brady plays down to his level because that is a thing in sports. Mm-hmm. It's across all sports. I think you and see. In our high school, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the Bears credit for Tom not playing well. They, they, the, the pass rush was under the pass, it, the the pass rush wasn't, wasn't there the first half. And you saw it. They Buccaneers got some house. 
But I'm not sure what the hell Matt Nagy did or um, Chuck Pagano did. But he lit a fire under Khalil Mack's ass because he was after him that whole entire second half. I, Would have had three sacks, had two because one was second because Tom Brady has to be a little princess and bitch about being slammed to the ground. That's a very encouraging sign for the Bears because that's what I said. That's what you said last week. Mm-hmm. All of these games. Where's Where Mac? the fuck is Khalil Mack? Mm-hmm. Because, again, last year I get a bunch of double teams. They even highlighted it in Fox broadcast last night that he wasn't getting double teamed. Like, no, it was oh, it was, it was one lunch with Tristan. And then he worked. turns it on, you know, about a quarter and he slammed, Did everyone see him slam 6'5", like 340-pound Tristan Wirth just to the fucking ground? So that's definitely a good sign for the yeah. Bears. I wish Tim was here to discuss and give his um Yeah, because he's, he's, he's high. Because this was, this was a encouraging. big test. Encouraging, yes. It's very encouraging for Chicago Bear fans. Um, again, I you know you're super high on your Buccaneers. I'm arguing that they're just not that good of a team. You just pointed out all the flaws in Arians' coaching. Yep. We just pointed out all the flaws in Brady's game mm-hmm. itself. So they don't look good. I think the Saints will ultimately win that division. Okay. The Bucs aren't as good as they that, as they seem. But rebounding from that loss against the Colts to coming back and winning in kind of unceremonious fashion. You know they didn't have a great offensive performance again, but they ultimately pull out the win mm-hmm. against a good team. You know what I'm team. excited about is that the Bears have come back in big moments and like big moments of the game where they need to convert that's their, that's their offense is that too against every the Falcons big, the Falcons the, the Lions, Lions. The, the good point the, these are both good points I like that you call it the defense though not um stopping um teams in big time moments you know how like you you said a couple weeks yeah. ago they did it this week against the Bucks they had a quick four and out that's true and then the Bears went down the field had good field position yeah, but they, those are like the most predictable four and outs when you're up by. No, how much were they up by in the, the box? Court? That's yeah. true. They started to force the run a little bit. That's yeah, that's what you do. That's one stuff. reason why the Bears. You know what? But that, but but also the um Bucks passed on third down and second down. They only ran the ball once. So your argument is, what's your argument I'm, now? I'm talking about the in the fourth quarter or whatever. about the Bucks. Yeah, they the, on their yeah, final drive they were leading the knows, game and they passed. They passed two out of the three downs. They have to run the ball. That but they didn't. Run the clock. But they didn't. And, uh, or the only team that doesn't know that. But is they the didn't. Okay. Yeah, they I, did. I, they went two. I just said it to you. They passed on two out of the three downs. Therefore, stopping the clock. They did not run. You're saying they are predictable. Still that was not ball. predictable. Okay, Kevin, wrap up this debate. One last comment. Uh, Matt, Nag- no, I was going to comment about the. Um, Passing on the two straight downs. Yeah. Matt Nagy had enough confidence in his defense that they could stop Tom Brady on that last drive. I really think that's why he did it. And he wanted to be aggressive. He, he was, and he yeah. did it. 